There is so much talk about what tomorrow's super yachts could be like and so much speculation in the industry. But while the dreamers dream and marketeers try to leverage the desirability of green technology to increase sales, one yacht builder has been working quietly and industriously to ensure that yacht owners' dreams can become a reality. That yacht builder is none other than the mighty Lursen, a giant in the world of super yacht construction, having built no less than 11 of the 20 largest yachts in the world. Their unwavering focus and dedication to providing the world with a more sustainable form of yachting has led them to creating a model of a future super yacht. I went to the Monaco Yacht Show to take a look at it. The model is called ALICE, an acronym of a Lursen Innovative Concept Experience. And let me make it very clear from the beginning that the connection with ALICE in Wonderland is the only element of fiction in this project that harnesses existing technology or technology that's already in an advanced stage of development. This is the world's leading super yacht builder using and developing the world's leading sustainable technology to show us what the yacht of the future really could be like. So let's take a look at this project, starting with possibly the most significant element, the power generation on board. Alice is conceived to be run entirely using fuel cell technology. As a matter of fact, Lursen are already building the first ever super yacht to employ this kind of technology, commissioned by a forward-thinking, technology-driven client. Power on board this yacht will be produced by conventional generators and also by the fuel cells. So it represents a huge step forward in the goal of creating a vessel that is driven entirely by fuel cells. When you hear about fuel cell technology, people often refer to hydrogen fuel cells. But in actual fact, it has been discovered that methanol is a far better option. It has a higher density of energy, is a lot easier to store and to handle than elemental hydrogen, and it's very abundantly available worldwide. Lursen made these discoveries through a national research project with some highly important partners who share the common goal of making yachting emission free. The project, called PAXL, has been working since 2009 and this year will be opening what they call the Innovation Laboratory in order to validate the concept. In practical terms, on Superyacht Alice, methanol can be stored in tanks on board and be reformed to hydrogen that feeds the fuel cells. The fuel cells in turn produce electricity that charges a battery bank that can power both the propulsion and the hotel load of the vessel. On Alice, methanol engines and electric engines are used for the propulsion. All of this with no emissions whatsoever of nitrogen oxides, sulfur oxides, soot, or even CO2. Well, apart from the lack of toxic emissions, fuel cell technology also allows a yacht to run silently and with an almost total lack of vibration. But fuel cell technology alone is just one aspect of the yacht of the future. There are many other aspects that make Alice really quite remarkable and forward thinking. Let's take a look at some of them. The extensive use of wood on the deck is quite normal on super yachts, but rather than use teak, which is in dangerously limited supply, 
Another fast growing wood is used that has already been developed and is in use by Lursen on some of their other super yachts. You can see too that the open airspace is used for greenery and even water features so that this 98 meter long yacht can quite literally become a floating park full of natural beauty. Jim Slater, lead exterior designer of Lursen, explains the concept far better than I though. When I started working on the design, the first thing that I thought of was what is a typical or a classical Lursen look like? And then I thought about boats like Limitless and Rising Sun. And another thought that I had was that lots of owners say that they don't really use the main salon and what you end up with is this, a boat with a really long shear line, no main deck, and everything else happens above it. And you end up with an exterior deck of about 100 meters long, where you can have all sorts of exterior activities, like a pedal tennis court over here. And here in the center, you have this great exterior space that is partly covered, that has a pool above, that when you're looking up, you look at the bottom of the pool and see who's swimming there. We have a bar here with a dance floor. And when we're going forward around here, we have a sort of park area with a pond. We have trees growing and we have lots of greenery. And when there is a slight bit of wind, the smell of these greens come all the way through and you smell them all the way aft throughout the exterior areas. A couple of the features that we've uh, included in this project is, for example, we have no diesel engines on board. So we have a fuel cell propulsion system run on methanol and all the tenders and toys are all electric. So we have no diesel engines on board. Another example is intelligent energy management that we're using on board. For example, we're reusing the heat that comes from the vessel to, for example, heat the pool. In that video, Jim Slyter referred to the fact that excess heat can be used to heat the swimming pools, for example. Now, again, that is something that Lursen already do in their existing vessels that use diesel engines. Alice is conceived to take the excess energy from the fuel cells and from other systems on board, not just to heat up the pools, but also to run the air conditioning, for example, a system that currently burns a lot of fuel from the diesel generators to run. And it is that fact that Lursen are already using much of this technology and are already at such an advanced stage of development with methanol fuel cells that makes Alice such an exciting project. She is the yacht of the future, yes, but it's a future that's within our grasp that all of us could see within our lifetimes.